Why hello there internet, I'm CST from the Guild of Awesome and today I'm reviewing the recently released Life is Strange True Colours. If you haven't played a Life is Strange game before, first off, go and play Life is Strange 1, it's one of my favourite games of all time. The Life is Strange games are story heavy games focusing on the choices the player makes and their consequences. If you've ever played one of the Telltale games before, it's pretty much the same formula. The story focuses on Alex, a young girl who's moved to a small mining town to live with her brother. Shortly into the game, Alex starts an investigation into the mining company that runs the town after some shit goes down. I'm not going to give any more plot points away about the story, what I will say is that it's well written, and because you can make different choices in the game, there is replay value here, making different choices to see what different outcomes you can find. You don't need to play the previous games to understand anything here. It's set in the same universe as the other games and even features a side character from Life is Strange 1. But you can go into this game without playing any of the previous games and be completely fine. The characters are well written and each person is memorable and they're all charming. The voice actors are really selling the characters here. They do an excellent job from start to finish. Our main character Alex has a superpower, which is really hard to describe in a way that makes it sound interesting. But basically she's an empath. She can visually see the emotional state around somebody via an aura that is around that person. It may not sound that cool at first, but as the game progresses, her powers grow and she's able to do so much more. And it leads to some really cool sections. You can use this power to either manipulate or help people in order to progress through the story. I wish there was more you could do with your powers. I can count on just one hand where you use the powers in an impactful way. I would have added lots more sections where you use these powers. There even have parts where you use them to solve puzzles. It could definitely have done with being explored much more. Now before I get into the graphics, I should mention that I played this game on an Xbox One X, running the game at 4K 60fps HDR, so bear that in mind when I say that the graphics are beautiful. It's a gigantic leap from Life is Strange 2. The environments are carefully handcrafted to feel cosy wherever you go, and so much effort has gone into these environments, there were several times where I just stopped to look around. The game runs really well. There were some small stuttering here every now and again, but it wasn't bad enough for it to be a problem. The game did crash once but the autosave system meant I only lost a few seconds of progress. The only other technical problem I had with the game is that the loading times are really long. I beat the game in just over 8 hours, which considering I bought the game for £50, I do feel this is overpriced. It's hard to say that considering the game is beautiful, and clearly a lot of love and care has been put into making it, it's just not long enough to warrant that high of a price. On the flip side of that, if you don't own the previous games, then the Ultimate Edition at £65 is definitely worth it since it includes some extra DLC for True Colours, and it includes the remasters of the old games that will be coming out next year. Overall, I give Life is Strange True Colours an 8 out of 10. It is a great game with an interesting story and lovable characters, but its length and the underuse of the most interesting part of the series, that being the superpowers, just brings the score down. If you're not a fan of the previous games, then I definitely don't recommend it. This game has the same vibe as the previous entries. I feel like this review is pretty short, but it's mainly because I don't want to go into the story, just for spoilers sake. But that's all from me, thank you for watching guys, and stay awesome.